hello welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Ayara if you're new so in my last video I got a suggestion on um, filming like a morning or an evening skincare routine and while I already have like a morning um, skincare routine video on my channel um, it was for 2020 so I thought to um, take up that suggestion and do like an updated um, routine it's going to be an extensive routine so it's to feature products that I alternate between for my morning routine I'm going to do my routine for um, this morning so I'll be able to like talk about each product. I have oily acne prone skin. While I don't exactly get acne often these days, I still get occasionally and right now I even have like a couple around here, like two or three around here. Um, they are also forming like dark spots. So why, what I'm currently dealing with is like um, hyperpigmentation from like acne spots. Yeah, let's just get right to it. Because it's really hard to um, control your cleansing step while I'm like on my hijab and all of that. I usually do like the cleansing step um, while in the shower. So I've already done the cleansing step. My face feels a bit um, dry right now because it's been a while since I did the cleansing step. But I wanted to um, have a sit down and do this video, which is why um, I delayed like the other steps. So I'm just going to highlight the cleanser that I use and then we'll move on to the next step. I um, alternate between these two cleansers. So the first one is the um, Peslo Recipe Oil to Foam Cleanser. I already shared this cleanser in um, like two of my previous videos, but essentially it's a, will I say it's a two-in-one cleanser, starts off as an oil cleanser and then it ends as a foam cleanser. So essentially it's like a cleanser that you can use to double clean. It's great for removing makeup. I like to use this one when I feel like I have like um, extra grease in the morning because like you don't sleep with your makeup and all of that. So I love how it feels on the skin. It helps to like um, cleans your skin and you don't get that tight feeling or it, your face doesn't feel dry after you've used it it's also featured in my evening routine so i like to use it um to um, get rid of uh, my makeup i don't add water to my face immediately so like i just get a few pumps then rub it around my face and then i um, rinse that off most times i tend to like um, use the cleanser twice so i can like get the um, feeling of double cleansing but other times i feel i use um, the second cleanser my second cleanser as like the second step cleanser and the second cleanser is this Cosarex snail mossing gel cleanser I've also talked about this one before and initially when I started using it my face felt really dry and I also thought maybe it was like aggravating my acne because I got like a lot of acne around that time but eventually I discovered that it was as a result of adding like um, a couple of pro new products into my routine and everything was just I guess um, clashing with one another so right now I use this cleanser or this when I, where I just want to like get a quick um, cleanse and just go straight to like the next steps of my routine I'm not exactly like a huge fan of the cleanser i feel like it just does the basic cleansing and um i try to avoid it sometimes because i feel like it, it leaves my skin feeling a little extra dry but yeah like those are the two cleansers that i use in my routine so for my toner right now i'm using this um ndp natural Dema project green kappa toner essence essentially it's like a two-in-one um, product it works as a toner and also works as an essence i think that was that's like a major reason why i like this one apart from the fact that it is a milky toner it also like um combines the two benefits together so you can use it as your toner and also as your essence at the same time um, another essence that i use is this um Cosarex um snail mousse power essence you might have already like heard of this one like a lot of times but i like to use this one when i feel like i need that um extra hydration and like just feel like my skin is soap and a lot of that so i like to use this one um for this morning um i will most likely use this one i think we should just go with this one because for this one um i started using it during amatan and I, I it was like really really great i feel like it is um best suited for like um colder weather so right now it's like quite sunny so i feel like it will feel too heavy on my face so we're just going to go with this one before that let me just show you like the texture of this one so like i said it's a milky toner so it's hard to get that's one thing i i do not fancy about like this um toner um it's hard to get like the product out of the bottle so you have to like shake it shake it and then it's it comes out in like a milk um lotion um form and then I guess I might as well just use it. it. Disappears really quickly. So at first I was thinking because it's like a milky toner, um, how will it sink into my face or something like that? But um, 
you can see that it disappears like really quickly into the skin you don't have to rub too much so like i said it feels um a bit heavy when you use it like in other weathers but like when you are in like colder climates it um disappears like really quickly into the skin next one is uh, my exfoliant today i'm not exactly going out so i would like to like go in with my exfoliant usually if i am going to be spending time like outdoors i do not um like to exfoliate like in the morning i prefer to do it at night because of that i'll be able to like use my vitamin c serum and all of that it's been a bit since i um, exfoliated so I'm just going to go in ahead with the exfoliant step and then I will show you like the serum um, the vitamin C serum that I use but we're not going to use it so this is the um, Cosarex BHA power liquid I've been using this um, exfoliant for quite a while I love it like it's what it was my very first um, chemical exfoliant and I feel like I had like a very good experience with it I was able to like slowly ease it into my routine and because I have oily skin BH is like a good ingredient for that this particular product uses salix alba extract so I think like that's like the milder form of BH or something like that I also have um, this other one um, what's the name wish trend mandelic acid prep water so I'll be using that I'll also be using that one because this one is about to finish but I, I feel like um, mandelic acid is also one of those um, exfoliating ingredients that people don't really um, talk about or like use but it is also quite effective if you watch my previous video exfoliating is like an essential step in your routine because my skin is already like used to this I can do my exfoliation twice a week but um, you can slowly ease yourself into a routine give a few pumps I don't like to apply on my hands because I feel like I waste uh, more products than we are so I just try to apply directly to my face without without touching without touching it typically after exfoliation I go in with my serums um, because I have a couple of dark spots right here and also around here I use this um, um, Cosarex AC blemish spot clearing serum it's also almost finished I should be done with it very soon and so I'll add like a new serum that also targets um, dark spots but I also use this um, Jumiso all day brightening it's basically like a vitamin C serum it also helps like brighten um, the skin and also like your hyperpigmentation spots so basically using both of them also helps with um, my dark spots so again like I said I'm not going to go on with my vitamin C because I don't like to uh, it's advisable not to mix exfoliating ingredients like VHA with um, ingredients like vitamin C um, you can use your exfoliant at night and use your vitamin C by day because it also helps to um, improve like the um, the effectiveness of your sunscreen so like sometimes sometimes it's advised to also use it like in the morning but it also works your vitamin C also works like really great at night too. so you just have to um, let's say find the balance between that if you are going to be exfoliating at night then you can use your vitamin C in the morning and on days that you are not exfoliating you can also use your vitamin C at night just going to go ahead with this one the dropper doesn't get out the rest of like the, um, the products so I'm just going to get it out by pouring don't let your dropper touch your face just go ahead and pat that in I also use it for like brightening in general so I like to like use it on my forehead as well the next step for me is if I have like um, a lot of acne or I have like acne that I want to target I either go on with my pimple patch and like also like treatment so if I have like acne that has um, an opening or that has like a visible head I usually go with the, like the acne patch this I currently have the Pyongyang Yule Acne um, Super Thin Spot Patch this one is quite useful when you have like acne that has already formed its head so if I'm going to be applying um, a pimple patch I try to avoid that area when I'm applying like the rest of my products because if you've applied products on that area too the patch tends to like be very slippery and it doesn't stay on very well so like one tip that I would give is if you are going to be using um, pimple patches you either um, apply your pimple patch before like all of the like the serum steps and all of that and then avoid it when you are um, applying those steps so that you don't get rid of like the patch 
or you avoid that area when you're applying your um, products. I'm not going to use this pimple patch right now because I don't exactly have, I don't have any acne that requires a patch. So I just wanted to drop in quickly and say more about like the Pyongyang new um, pimple patch because I realized during editing that I did not really say much about it. Um, so um, basically it's like a very thin patch. I used it yesterday and that's why I wanted to quickly film this video and highlight um, how it works. So it's a very like thin patch, it's almost invisible, it's right here. I added it, um, I used it yesterday night around um, 10, 30, 11 ish and by the time I woke up this morning you can see that it had already like sucked out um, the gunk out of like the pimple, um, this this was one of the pimples that I highlighted in the video and like um, as at yesterday it had already like had that, um, that white uh, edge so you like add all of that junk just sticking out so i decided to just add the patch by this morning the gunk has already been sucked out you can see all of that white gunk just sticking out then you can also like you can barely see the pimple part but like it's there i just need to remove it now and then replace it with another one for you to like um just cl really cleanse that um particular pimple and like everything that is inside it i wanted to also show how sticky it is like once you apply it when you apply it to your face right it sticks immediately to your skin especially when you have you don't have like any product around that area so if you've used like multiple years of product it might not be as sticky but just ensure that you don't put as much product around that area and like when you apply your pimple part it sticks quite well and then you are unable to remove it so like right now it take um it would take some effort for me to get it off so i've removed it now i'm going to save you the side of what was sucked out of like the pimple but like this is how it looks now then you can see that part that area too so i'm just going to um go do my like my morning routine now and then i'm going to apply another part to it just so it's not like contaminated or like it does not get um, more infected or something like that so yeah that's like basically how it works for acne that does not have aid but it's still there. I like to go on and use this um, sports cream. So this sports cream is from also from Pyong Pyongkang Yul. This is the Pyongkang Yul Acne Sports Cream. I find that this one is actually quite useful when I have um, acne that feels um, like bumps and they don't exactly have like a particular aid that you can use your pimple patch on so i like to go on and use this sports cream it helps to dry um, the pimples from inside out so essentially you end up with like a dried um, pimple i guess um, this does not exactly prevent um, the pimple from forming dark spots so i usually get um, dark spots from pimples that um, get dried by this um, cream but i feel like it's still better than getting like a huge opening and then the, pump, um, the pimple forms mean um, acne scars so um, I like to use this on those type of pimples right now I'm just going to use it on this part and ensure that it's like concentrated around that area so I I spread it around that area and then I focus on the pimple itself if I feel like there's any part of my face that is already getting bumps so it feels like it's going to form acne soon i also like to use it there right now i don't have any bumps like that the next steps for me after all of that is to go on and seal in everything that you've done with your moisturizer so um currently i have two moisturizers open this is the um soon by me eugenia sin brightening um, moisture gel cream it also has vitamin c from the Uja extract and it has niacinamide five percent so usually i like to go on and use this one when i'm going out and i've used um, my vitamin c serum or when i am in indoors and i've used uh, my exfoliant and i did not use the vitamin c serum which is what we are going to use right now but i also want to talk about this um other um cream that i use this is the purito um oatin calming gel cream I've sh um, shared my review of this cream on my blog and um, also even on this channel and so you know that I like it I find it um, quite suitable for oily skin if you use it in um, the minimal quantities for like the outer weathers and for colder weathers you can um, use in more quantity so some people may not um, really like this cream because they may find it a little bit too lightweight but i feel, find it like it's perfectly suitable for oily skin types it's also like great for sensitive skin i like to use this cream actually i like to use it a lot but for today we are going to just use this niacin one from soon by me then this one has like a gel like it's not gel but it feels more like this 
um i'm not sure what to call it but it feels like all of these gummy um kind of texture or something like that but it's transparent and it sinks in really well so again i like to focus on my forehead a lot especially when i'm using like products that have um, ingredients like niacinamide and the vitamin c okay the next step in your routine is as you'd expect um the sunscreen step i'm not going to go on the sunscreen step because i'll be honest i don't like to use um my sunscreen when i'm indoors and all of that because i still need to get like vitamin d from the sun even though it's not like the harmful vitamin d so um, I just like to like stay away from windows and I only use um, this sunscreen when I'm actually stepping out but I'm still going to highlight it because like it's like a very important step for like your morning routine you have to include your sunscreen so this is the sunscreen that I currently use Kose Sun Court UV Perfect Essence it's supposed to be waterproof but I don't think it actually is I've shared my review on my blog so you can check that out if you want like a full detailed review but I absolutely love this sunscreen it's very lightweight it's easy to use it leaves zero white cast because you also need to take care of your lips I have like a couple of lip care products um, currently I'm using this lip care intensive care for chapped lips from this line Happy Therapy I started using this one during Amatan because I tend to get um, dry and chap lips a lot during Amatan and so I decided to like start using it. Usually I use the um, one from I think Vaseline or Nivea but I've been using this one recently and I actually like it although it smells a bit weird it has the honey bee wax kind of smell so it smells a bit off but I love to use it so I'm just going to go on with that and we are done So yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope you are able to find any of them useful. Let me know in the comments if um, you've, you used any or you've used any of these products before, what your thoughts are. Um, let me know what you think of like this routine in general. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like click on the notification bell to get like updates when I upload new posts. Um, don't forget to like this video, stay safe and I will see you in my next video.